How to Wiz IQ Basic Training, Module 204, 204, Content Library Uploading. Okay, so, oops, that's not where I want to be. Here we go. All right, I want to get things into my, into my database to be able to have quick and easy access. So, my stuff, my content. And this takes us to our content library. Too bad I didn't open this up before so it would be ready. Huh. Okay, now I've made this a little bit bigger now. You can go to it on your own and look at what all is available. But um, you can see I've got a lot of files in here already. And we can look at them individually by folder. But the first thing we're going to do is upload a file. And it was right off the edge a little bit. There was a button for upload a file. And I'm just going to choose one just to let you see. It's a pretty straight up operation just there are types of files you can upload you will figure it out pretty quickly um, what files will will and will not upload oops that one did, is not going to upload so let's choose that again that uh, rich text format will not upload all right I can do this I can do this let's find a file that it will upload all right a PDF it will upload. I hope. <laughs> and let's put in a tile. Stuff. Let's put in some tags. ESL. Let's put in a description now. Something to note here, I think. Okay. George's stuff. Um, more information is better if it's going to be publicly published. Um, also, once again, if you have courses set up, you won't normally see this, you could publish it to a course so people would automatically be notified that they had um, class materials. You can make it public or private. Now, let's see what happens when we try to do it public with just a few words. Oh, they didn't make us put in more words. It went that fast. Alright, so let's go now back to um, my content page. I can go from here, I can click on it, or I can go to my stuff my content. Now we're going to see that, the, oh, there's one that's processing called stuff. So there's different symbols. We can look down further to see the keys for what the different things mean. Uh, file types that you can upload. Uh, be careful when you get into big PowerPoint files. Movie files are going to be humongous. You can always try to um, create a link, um, a hyperlink, or you can link it right in your class, which we'll see later. But um, be careful with the big files. It's uh, I find that it's about five minutes for a video is the max. If you convert it to a, um, a flash video, uh, you can go with the bigger one. But you lose some of the um, quality. Now, let's look here. Right now it's not in a folder, but it's not ready to go in a folder either. Uh, we have folders that we can go into and let's see how we would organize one so we can I can even pause okay I'm back again now we've got this stuff uploaded now I can edit the information about it I can delete it altogether I can add it to a course if you've set up courses but I want to add it to a folder now here you're going to see a drop down menu of all the folders I have created in this case let's set let's Let's create a new folder. Oh, we can't do that yet. All right. Um, I'll have to show you how to do that later, but I'm just going to put it in a, a folder for now, and that's all it took. I can change the folder, as you can see here. Uh, to create a new folder, we would have to go down here first to create a new folder to be able to um, have a place it, for it to go. I'm going to create one for Helena now. That's one of the people in our EduPunk group. So that's basically it for uploading content. You're going to see how we get access to that inside the classroom later, but you're going to find that it goes much faster if you have your content well organized and in your content library, which is effectively on the WizIQ database server. But we'll see that in the actually see that in the virtual classroom. Next thing we're going to look at is uploading to a class before we start the class. Many of you do not have a premium account, so that's the way you would do it.